Welcome back to the battlefield. Today we get to pick up after that glorious battle. The Bears of Truth really stood their ground in an excellent manner. And now I get to... Looks like I get to take the city of Ansira. Now let's see here. Can I afford to loot it? It looks like I might have a rebellion here anyway. Because when I take the city, it'll be minus 15 public order for conquest. I think. Yeah, I may as well loot it, because I'm a little bit low on money right now. But let's just get in there and make this happen. It's fortunate that we're also catching this army as well. They should be coming in from the left side of the map. And if I'm not mistaken, that's where my reinforcements should be coming in as well. There's not really much of a plan here, basically just destroy the enemy. Okay. Let's start this army over here, just because that's where I'm expecting the couple of reinforcing units to come in. And I want to wipe them out so I don't have to deal with them later. And then these guys... What's the shortest route to the town square? Um, these guys can take this wall, these two will take this wall, the Axemen can support. On second thought, I'm actually going to send a unit of Axemen up the walls, because they're healthier. Alright, now who am I missing? No one? Good. Just go ahead and get up there. Our reinforcements have arrived. like to make sure these guys all die. Let's try and get the horse archers to hit their melee infantry. My general has an attack order, so that's an okay charge. Keep one unit of shock cav out in the open. down as much of the these armies as I possibly dead. can. Definitely should not fire a will here. Okay, the enemy general is dead, so I don't have to deal with him anymore at all. Let's pull this unit out. This unit is pretty healthy, so they can get a charge. General can go ahead and help out. These guys are still pushing their equipment forward. See, obviously this isn't going to be a difficult battle, I just want to make sure I get everything run down. And the sooner I can take this gate, the sooner I can get my cavalry in the city and... Hopefully, just go take this town square, because I honestly think that might be faster than killing these units. 
Maybe we can get these units to rout, though. It's unfortunate that the siege towers are so painfully slow. Make sure everyone over here is off of fire and will. I could actually move the horse archers up to help out with these wall engagements a little bit. Let's bring the, those units up there and these guys up here. We await your orders! All right, we finally, <laughs> finally made it up to the walls with our first ladder. Infantry at your command. What the heck is going on? Oh, that's just map art. Okay. Ready yourselves. You guys Spears. take out the Pontic Spearman. You guys get on the wall and capture it. Horse archers are still moving. Alright, I can probably just fast forward the rest of this battle. I'm not sure where their general's unit is, though. I would guess he's probably in the town center. Okay, let's get all these healthy cavalry units up front and ready to charge into the middle. Horse archers didn't end up having a chance to shoot, really. They might have range to help out here a little bit. Okay, Pontic Cavalry General. We have captured a tower! Once we get that gate, we can go ahead and... What the heck did it just... I thought I just captured it and then all of a sudden it went neutral. That was weird. Alright, in any case... Oh, I guess I can't do that because... Can I not capture this gate? What's going on here? We have captured a tower! Alright, I don't know why that took so long. These guys are getting shot needlessly by that tower, so let's go ahead and just pull them back. This is going to be a really ugly cav charge, so it might take longer to break these guys than I would like. But it still shouldn't take too long. Okay, now I have to start thinking about how I'm going to manage the upcoming Siege of Nicomedia. I could just go with the Path of Attrition and force them to sally out. I could wait and recruit a Siege army. Yeah, we're gonna have a rebellion here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Keep them in patrol just for now. At your command, my lord. All right. Now the other thing is, I've got another twenty stack over here to deal with. Another nearly twenty units over here to deal with. Actually, that's more than 20, isn't it? Yeah, 29. So I got 49 units plus both of these garrisons to deal with. That's a really weak garrison at the moment, though. But none of these armies are super strong, so I could probably beat them pretty easily. The question is, 
when do I take the engagement? I would like to know what's in that army exactly, so I'm going to send my spy up here to not do that. I'll just try and get a better idea of what's going on. Usually, yeah, usually that'll show you what's in the army. Okay, so they have a couple of mercenary pikemen. That's actually a decent army for such a small faction. At your service. I mean, it's only a 30% chance of success. I don't even think it's worth trying to do that, so I'll just keep my spy over there for now. These guys are probably taking attrition because it's summer, same as this army. Alright, what else do I need to do this turn? That would be good to have. This would also be good to have, but I don't really care for the improvement to ships. If I upgrade this, I could get better horses, which would obviously be nice. So at the moment, I've got a lot of really good options for research, so it's just a matter of picking which ones I want to do. go ahead and start to refill my ranks a little bit. It means I can also get rid of these mercenaries. Okay. That should be good enough for my armies. I believe all of my agents are taken care of. Palmyra is still having public order problems. And I think it might be too early for me to send another politician to help them out. Oh, it's not. Okay, let's send her. Alright, so we're just barely holding on to public order here. If I can just keep this up for another seven turns, I think it should start to even out on its own. And that is... Uh, let me check the diplomatic situation up north. I haven't done that in some time. Be welcome here, and speak as you wish, without fear of consequence or danger. Welcome, friend. Let us conclude our business with... Hmm. I wonder if these Please guys will accept ever actually the accept trade. Thank God. I agree and admire. Because they're such the an aggressive faction that not having peace with them, or not having some kind of diplomacy with them, can be a huge problem. Be we did welcome. finally get you have trade a... here, or maybe we've Your had trade there for a not, while, but I, I want a non-aggression. you the power of divine I persuasion. Anymore. I cannot agree. All right, either way, we've got a lot of friends around us, actually friends on all sides, except for these two settlements. So this becomes a question of who do we betray? I'm thinking I would like to betray Egypt. But I'm concerned that I don't have the money to keep recruiting troops. Mm, money's a little bit tight right now, but I need the influence. 
Okay, that's a perfect place for the rebellion to happen. Ready for battle. At your command. Ready for battle. I think I'll actually just let this rebellion grow a little bit because I think it'll just be a bunch of Celtic townsfolk. And if it's just Celtic townsfolk, it'll be really, really easy to deal with. But that way I can get the public order to start heading in the correct direction again. Alright, what are these guys up to? They're all just kind of hanging out in a defensive posture. What I could do here is charge out and lay siege to the city and then attack this army. That would draw these guys in to reinforce it. But nothing in the city would get to reinforce. The problem is I think these guys would just run away. Maybe it would be smart to just wait for another turn or two. These guys are healthy enough that I can bring them to the front and have them fortify and just hold that gap. Okay. What else needs to be done? Syria is starting to look good, but I still don't have a temple here. That's kind of a problem. Eventually I'll have some population growth and I'll probably build a temple with that. It's got plenty of food. I actually probably should not have built a second farm there. I should have done a temple. That's okay for now. Okay, how are we doing for food in Mesopotamia? We've got plenty. This does not impact public order at all. It just raises banditry, and since our banditry is so low, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the port. Still trying to sell off our slaves here. Maybe I should sell slaves in this province as well. Been doing a lot of fighting and a lot of gaining slaves. It would be kind of funny if this rebellion ran up here and tried to capture Sinope. And by funny, I mean extremely annoying. I would not enjoy that at all. <laughs> all right, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done on this turn. Nah, it looks like I don't need to. Well, I don't know why on earth they are making this attack, but I will happily accept. Let me just see, so they've got one, two cavalry units. Let's see, three... I think they only have three missile units, so I don't know why on earth they're making this attack. Realistically, <clears throat> excuse me, realistically it would actually probably be best to fight outside the fort. Because then I can really make good use of my cavalry. And obviously I'm not going to leave the cavalry in the fort anyway. 
Let's see, they should be attacking from my west, I believe. So over here. Don't need to use any of those. Hmm. The only question now is how do I want to play this? Not sure what buildings in here are preventing me from setting my units up. Because I thought these were all just tents that I could put my guys in. And they wouldn't block anything, but I guess not. So, okay, let's go one here. Orders, my lord. Oh, maybe we can get it to work across here. Alright, so that's good enough for the slingers. We are at your command. Keep a couple of light spears in reserve. No more spearmen. And no then more the spearmen. healthiest of the spears medium spearmen ready. at the front, because they will be taking on hoplites. We understand. So it'll still be a little bit of a tricky fight. We are we'll go ahead and make a little bit of a kill box here, may as well. As you wish! No more speed! Come on, where was that sweet spot? There it is. Okay, you three play the reserve game. No, you three get to the outside. You get to hang out with the cavalry. Assets! My lord! Royal Cataphrax! Okay, now these guys will do a lot of damage, so maybe I should actually send these light spears Enemy out the front. Approaching. Yeah, I'm gonna send the light spears out the front. Do you know what? I don't need these fortifications at all. Let's just go out there. You guys come out of your formation. Let's just go out there. I was thinking to stay inside just for the archer towers, but they've got plenty of range anyway, so it doesn't matter. Horse archers can move forward and fire at will. I might actually need to charge my cavalry in here just to keep their general from catching my units while they're moving. Okay, their general is getting slaughtered. Let's tell these guys not to fire. We'll charge at those guys, we definitely will not pursue them. I don't think the Slingers will be able to fire from there, but whatever. Okay, just pull the shock cab back out of there. Did take a little bit of damage from doing that. You guys may fire at will. Ready? Here's the other unit of cavalry, so we can go get that while it's isolated. Definitely took a bit more damage there than I would have liked. Let's run the, cat, the horse archers around behind so that they can not be shooting straight into shields. It looks 
like the AI did not get a charge on me at all. The enemy general is dead. What are your okay, we've got three units of spears to help out over here, so I'm not concerned about that at all. Slingers, go ahead and focus on those guys, I guess. Spearman! The battle is turning in our favor. Spearman! Assault! Definitely want to be running them down. Our general is under attack. Get a little bit of a flank here. This unit is not going to be fighting very effectively like that. But I don't dare pull them out because they'll take a massive, a massive. They'll take massive casualties if I do. You guys go ahead and just come help clean up that engagement. Cavalry in position to deal with the remainder. I'll actually bring one of the units over here to hit this flank as well. Horse archers may no longer fire a will. Slingers change targets. Our units has used all its ammunition. Ready. Definitely taking some damage on this unit. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Successful battle. Slingers! But until these guys to cease fire and have the cavalry do the rest of the work because it will go much faster. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the AI was thinking with this attack. Normally the AI doesn't do stupid stuff like that terribly often on the campaign map. But uh, this, this time it was pretty bad. They didn't even have a numerical advantage. Whatever. It helps me out a ton. It lets me deal with a lot of Pontus's force without actually having to engage them. Or without having to engage them, without having to fight them in a siege. Because in a siege battle, they would have been a lot more difficult to deal with. <laughs> Didn't chase down the missile units enough, unfortunately. But I suspect they won't get far Gathering anyway. supplies, my lord. The 
defensive alliance with Athens. At least consider a formal treaty. Strong defenses need good foundations. Hmm. Not at the moment, thank you. As all the gods look down on us, they too... Not with you either. Maybe I should have taken it with Rhodes, but I really want to unify Syria. And to do that, Rhodes needs to lose their settlement in Syria. Now, what I could do here is I could go take out this rebellion real quick and just do it off camera. In the future, if you guys would rather have me just take care of small stuff like this off camera, go ahead and let me know. For now, I'll keep doing it on or while I'm recording. But I think I will call that good for this episode. As always, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I will see you in the next one.